Eddie Murphy is a celeb you may not hear about in the press too often and considering he doesn't have social media, we know he likes his privacy. But we can assume that during this chaotic year we've had so far, Eddie has been enjoying some R&R in his custom $18 million Beverly Hills mega mansion. Today we'll be seeing the homes of this legendary comedian including his main family mansion that looks like a resort. Eddie Murphy is a famous comedian, actor and more. He got his start on Saturday Night Live and his work doing stand up made him number 10 on Comedy Central's list of the 100 greatest stand ups of all time. Time. Taking a long break from stand up, Eddie has done a countless amount of other work. Whether it's voice acting, such as his role as Donkey and Shrek. Why don't you just pull some of that older stuff on him? You know, throttle him, lay siege to his fortress, grind his bones to make your bread. You know, the whole ogre trip. Or starring in multiple roles for movies like The Nutty Professor and more. Better cover your plate. Oh, I agree. You need a pet, man. Mama, have some water. <laughs> Either way, he knows how to make his audience laugh, whether they're kids or grown ups. Eddie's films over the years have brought in a massive $6.6 .6 billion worldwide, making him one of the highest grossing actors in film history. That being said, The Funny Man currently has an estimated net worth of $200 million. I mean, a pretty good chunk of that definitely goes to child support, considering Eddie has 10 children and 5 baby mamas, but the rest of it he's free to use on his impressive real estate. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to be taking a look at where comedian Eddie Murphy calls home, like his custom mega mansion in Beverly Hills he's lived in since the early 2000s and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed to ring that bell to be notified when we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Ice Cube and Steve Harvey and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Once Mr. Murphy headed out to Los Angeles and started making mega millions, he quickly invested in a new home. In 1988, Eddie bought Cher's Egyptian style mansion for $6.4 million, which was his first California real estate purchase. He'd been renting some pricey West Coast properties beforehand. This mansion was located in the Benedict Canyon area just 10 minutes from the famous Beverly Hills Hotel, and Cher had spent the 10 years she lived there renovating or redecorating, or so it seemed. It was a private gated estate at the top of a long and winding driveway situated on 4 acres acres of land marked by massive red doors. The main mansion Eddie lived in sat on a sloped lawn spanning 20,000 square feet with 11 beds and 17 baths. Some would call the home gaudy thanks to features like 24K gold faucets throughout gold leaf pillars and elaborate lighting fixtures. Aside from the formal areas and common spaces on the main floor, other features included a home gym and an atrium with a remote controlled skylight. It was an over the top home to say the least. Also on the property there was a 7,000 square foot guest house for additional visitors, horse stables, a private tennis court and a swimming pool. Although the home used to span 4 acres back when Eddie was living here, reports say that it now covers over 14 acres and more recently has been on the market for a massive 48 million. Before we look at where Eddie's living now, we'll see his Sacramento place. In the early 2000s, Eddie and then wife Nicole Murphy bought the house in Northern California, but the original price they paid is unknown. Located in Granite Bay, California, the mansion sits in an affluent suburb by Sacramento and more specifically in a guard gated community called Los Lagos. It was built in the late 90s and the original owner didn't even want to sell, but Eddie allegedly made an offer they couldn't refuse. Eddie's previous compound overlooks Folsom Lake and the total square footage is 17,851 square feet with a 12,600 square foot main house and 5,200 square foot guest house. There's a total of 10 beds and 10.5 baths spread between the two structures. As expected, it was decked out with the finest custom furniture. Walking in the home, there's a double height entry with dual staircases and an attached great room top with a rotunda. Rounded lounges and lofts join the space, one room with a wet bar and space with a fancy piano. Other highlights include a formal dining room with space to entertain, a state of the art kitchen and sunny breakfast nook, billiards room, arcade, home movie theater and even an elevator. One of the bedrooms here is Shrek themed which makes sense since Eddie played the famous role of donkey. There's also a 1200 square foot gym and moving outside, a patio leads you to a massive infinity pool and spa. Second story balconies look over the palm tree filled space. The rest of the grounds include gardens, lawns, a pavilion, double garages and even a full sports court. With its tropical landscape, luxury amenities and unique design, Eddie's former
former Sacramento mansion was a slice of paradise. It has a little bit of an interesting history though, or at least I heard. When Eddie and Nicole divorced in 2006, she got 15 mil and also stayed in this glorious mansion. She reconnected with a friend named Troy Stratos who became her finance manager, basically swindling her for 7 million. He said it was for overseas investments, but the cash ended up in his personal account. If you're wondering how the house fits into this, Troy convinced Nicole he'd help her sell it. She moved out of the place, but little did she know Troy moved in, living rent free, buying fancy cars with her money, and scamming her further. The man is now in prison. Nicole finally got rid of the home in 2007 for just over 6 million. Now for Eddie's main house. The comedian has actually been living at the same estate for almost 20 years now, purchasing the land his mansion is situated on back in 2001 or around then for 10 million. His place was then custom built from the ground up and he moved in around 2005 according to reports, the home costing an estimated 20 million dollars after all was said and done. Eddie's mega mansion is located in none other than the celeb filled Beverly Hills in the neighborhood of Beverly Park, sitting on 3.7 acres of land. Of course his home is an exclusive gated community high in the hills, set beyond multiple security gates and checkpoints. His neighbors include the likes of Denzel Washington, Rod Stewart and more. Eddie's mega mansion spans 18,598 square feet and has 10 beds and 17 bathrooms, not to mention there's an additional detached guest house on the property that's 5,200 square feet with two suites. The estate is so large it resembles more of a 5 star resort than a family home and Eddie got it built in a Mediterranean slash 19th century classical Italian style. You can see the classic style moving inside the mansion where many rooms are full of wood accents, vaulted ceilings and exposed beams. There are double height ceilings with medieval looking chandeliers in some of the common spaces. There are two elegant dining rooms, one with a larger long table to entertain, a spacious kitchen and more than one living room. Not to mention multiple stone fireplaces. There is also a large two level library with an all wood interior and floor to ceiling windows. In total, Eddie's mansion has about 32 rooms inside. Other features include a special play area for his children, a home movie theater and even an entire bowling alley. Moving outside of his family home, you'll find the massive swimming pool and spa as well as plenty of patio space to entertain and dine. There are grassy lawns and even a full tennis court in the yard. The landscape surrounding Eddie's property provides additional privacy as well as tropical scenery that only adds to the home's visual appeal. It's rumored that the house rounded up a property tax bill of 250k in 2011 alone, but it seems like Eddie and his family are happy as ever to stay here. Although I don't think he'll be putting the mansion up for sale anytime soon, these days it's valued at over 36 million dollars. So now we've taken a look at where the legend Eddie Murphy calls home, including his two crazy estates he owned before and the custom 20 million dollar mega mansion he lives in now. Out of the three, which was your fave? I think I like the Sacramento place best, something about the unique design in different rooms was my favorite. But one thing's for sure, Eddie goes all out and clearly likes his mansions, flashy, massive and over the the top. They seriously all look like resorts. Before I wrap this up, I'll read out a couple comments from previous vids. These are from our recent Ice Cube house tour. Cassandra Elder wrote, Yes, my Gemini's twins house is off the chain. Thanks for showcasing this artist. No problem, Cassandra. I'm glad you liked the vid. And Danny Lush Real Estate said, I love Ice Cube's Marina Del Rey mansion. Today was a good day. All right, that's all I got for Eddie Murphy's homes. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about his mansions down in the comments, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Thank you.